all right you guys we back in the woods again we got the waders on today we're gonna go try and see if we can find some crappie or some sandies probably some sandies most likely white bass are really running now finally took long enough but today i'm going to kind of go over some tips and tricks that i use for these white bass when they get in here um some you may know some you might not so that's what we're going to do let me get down here and wait a little bit get to where i want to get to and we'll start fishing all right first thing this water's got a little more stain than normal honestly not real sure what that's about but it's definitely a little stained so we're gonna get over here and rig up and get to fishing someone stringer here that's a good sign right I'm gonna take this cork off I'm not planning on cork fishing right now I'm gonna try and uh, cast around for these guys first tip you know for, for these sandies and crappie too especially i always tend to start you know kind of slow presentation and this is my go-to rig right here just 16 ounce jig head a little curly tail right here just thread it on there like so i mean i got four pound mr crappie high vis line fish don't really care about the line color and uh tie it with a loop knot Two, three. don't cut it with your teeth like that but that's that's the rig right there all right went downstream you can like smell the fish right here there's a lot of people so we're gonna see what we can find you can smell them big time right here though all right i think we found them you guys uh just location 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 is everything especially with these yep just like that with these uh creeks being really low this year you guys they are in such small areas stacked up um He's hooked kind of funny. I don't know how he got it. There he goes. Nice keeper. But there, you really have to cover water. So I had walked to my original place and uh, did not get bit at all. And uh, had to move around. And if I didn't, I wouldn't have caught all these. I caught these off camera. There was a guy right here. I didn't want to film with him right here. Some people just don't like filming thinking I'm gonna tell you know the whole world but it's not how it is so yeah just keep if you're not catching fish they're not there so it's the biggest tip I can I can give everyone look at them over there they are stacked right there Nice white bass. And y'all can see what I'm catching them on. Curly tail. It's just, it's money you guys. I just can't stress it enough. But, you know, again, just, just searching, covering water. Sand bass are not difficult to catch. Um, you just have to find them. It's the main thing. And they're gonna move too so like if you find a little area like this they're gonna slow down and they're gonna kind of move meander back and forth on this so if you stop catching them when you found them like this you definitely want to you know give them a little bit to uh to kind of wander back through he's probably a keeper but i'm gonna let him go whoops oh, lee sorry fish did not like me holding them So these fish are pretty much trapped in here until we get a big, big rain. And I mean a big rain. Another one, that's a nice one there. Oof, big one. On this four pound line and the Sam Super Sensitive, these 
so fun to catch. That's a big old male right there. Big old male. Y'all can see that. Look at that B&M. Some people don't like super ultralights like this, but I love it. I try my best to keep it sporty, you know. Four pound line, uh, ultralight rod. You know, give these fish a chance. You know, I'm not using, you know, 15, 20 pound braid and, you know, broomstick, you know, basically. and and just yanking them in. I'm like, I like to give them a little bit of a chance and keep it as sporty as I can. It's a lot more fun that way. Yep. I mean, they are stacked right here. I'm gonna have to retie after this one, I think. See, I know he tore that line up. He got it too. You think it wanted that curly toe? All right. I don't ever keep Sandy's, but I'm keeping some for a buddy today. Oh, I didn't even retie. That four pound line, you gotta really watch it cause it's all right, it feels like. And these, uh, the bait, bait fish are in here really good too. You can smell them as soon as you walk up. And that's kind of what keyed me in on this area. Sounds crazy, but you can definitely smell the fish. It smells like watermelon. If I had to, if I had to say it smelled like something. Right on that bank over there. It didn't matter though. <laughs> Not a nice one. I mean, he got it too. Got it. They want that current that's what they need and there's not that much of it so they get right where there's the best current and a little bit of depth to where they're not super spooky why this reel acts like it's got some sand or something in it i've been real careful with it another good sandy Ouch. That one fanned me pretty good. It's a real specific cast too, like they really want to be over here. Really want to be over there. noise y'all it's just really really windy today my tackle bag is going across the creek again <laughs> second time it's happened you would think i would learn i mean maybe a foot maybe didn't fight that much again you guys you know just keep walking keep looking 
you can, I mean, I'm almost limited out already in like an hour. But if you don't walk and you sit in the same place hoping they show up, you're not gonna catch them. I always have a saying, you know, they don't care if they get caught or not, you gotta go catch them, so. Stay on the move. Stay on the move. Get some nice fish too. I knew he was gonna do it. There he is. I'm gonna try and finish off my limit and I'm gonna give them to, I'm actually gonna give these to some guys downstream for me. Um, I feel bad. I haven't seen him catch a single fish. So, I'm going to try and do that for them. I only need a couple more, so. I've only been down here for like an hour and a half, so. Cannot complain. Let's see. Two more. And I've only been fishing for like an hour and a half. There he is. Number 25, if I can get them in. Yep, yeah, it's number 25. Curly tail. You know, ultralight setup. 25 sand bass in like an hour and a half. I really hope y'all enjoy and I hope these tips, you know, help too and there it is. It's the limit. All right, I'm gonna get off here and do some some pictures and things like that, and give these to those guys down there. But you know, this thing is all sorts of messed up too. I uh, really hope y'all enjoyed this. You know, great day. Well, hour and a half. I was not out here very long and caught a lot of fish. So. Y'all be sure to subscribe if you haven't, hit that notification bell. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoy this. Um, that really helps me out YouTube wise. And yeah, I'm trying to, these sand bass videos don't do as good for me, uh, white bass videos, but I enjoy it. So I'm gonna put it out there for you guys. If y'all could help, you know, share the video if you enjoyed it, you know, just help get it out there for me a little better. That would be great. Um, YouTube, 
just you know sometimes it throws stuff out good for me sometimes it doesn't be saying bass videos just uh don't really do good for me but sorry this wind is so bad but i enjoy it so i've always said i'm gonna fish for me and not fish for youtube so yeah hope y'all enjoy y'all have a great day all right well we're at a creek never been here before in my life just walk down boom nice sandy right off the bat pretty male so i'm gonna throw the gopro on let's see what else we can find it's a real small little area but i mean i caught one pretty quick so let's see i'm gonna let him go real quick though i'm not keeping any sand bass just don't really care for him there we go so let's see now that we got the gopro rolling what we can find it's pretty fun you know just driving by this creek now, i don't know how many is going to be in here Another one. This water's real weird looking, but it doesn't seem to really matter. That fish got all sorts of tangled. <laughs> there he is. So fun. I don't usually use this rooster tail, but I had it tied on already, so I figured why not, you know? It's another nice, nice white right there. There it goes. Maybe there's a few of them in here. We could really catch a few, you know? I don't really know. fun though we'll say that another one god that one grabbed it really good hmm look at that one trying to get me hung up on this uh what's it called no, they're good white. God, there's just solid ones in here. Solid fish. Get that blade turning on this rooster tail and just slow roll it. Might have been. Yep, there's another one. A little smaller one so fun though i mean that's what i love about this time of year any little creek you pull up to or you see on the road and stop at you can catch fish in it's just springtime you know they're up in them sweet really don't need that sun to come out because I forgot my sunscreen today and I don't want to get burnt. Oh, I had another bite. There's a whole bunch of them in this little pocket. God, I'm hitting it. They are hitting it. These fish are trapped right here. That last rain. That last rain brought these fish in here. God, you see that? Y'all see that fish hitting it? it? Just won't commit to it. There he is. About to say. Oh, yeah. There we go. That fish about knocked the rod in my hand the first time it went for it.
really need to retie, I think, but we're just gonna roll with it. Pretty white. Definitely a little wad of them over here. fish on that cast. I think this, yeah, I was gonna say something feels weird about this. <laughs> Had a leaf on it, that's why. That all that's in here? Hmm, might be it. Look at this. What is this? A little bitty large mouth. Look at that. Monsters in this creek. Monsters. Whoo! Man. Well, I almost did it. <laughs> this four pound line just, this thing's fly. That might be all she wrote. Might be all she wrote. There he is. Ooh, it's a good one here. Oh, this one's, it's not a, I mean, it's a decent one, but that thing was mean. That little dude was mean. Oh, whoops. Probably because I had him hooked in the chin. Probably because I had him hooked in the chin. In the chin, not a chin. So fun, just random creek. There's another one. That's a little better one there. Oh, yeah. Gotta love creek fishing in the spring. Look at that sandy. Oh, yeah. That fish got it, too. Look at that beautiful fish. Let him go right here. If I don't slide in. There you go, dude. Thank you for the bite.
far. I mean, I've had several nice keeper sized whites in here. Oh, here we go. Beautiful fish. Let him go. Just not really sure about this land situation up here, if it's private or what, so I'm not going to venture too far. Try and cast back this way, give it a different angle. Yep, sometimes that's all it takes, a little different angle. Four pound line, these fish are so fun. This one's mean. And this one's digging. Look at that one. Solid sandy. Beautiful sandy. Just changing that angle sometimes makes a difference. All right, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed that little, um, you know, just random creek action. Just goes to show, you know, don't pass up any feeder creek coming out of a lake, and especially this time of year, you know, there could be some fish in them. Just this little pool like this. Something that simple. So don't overlook that. Hope y'all enjoyed. Don't forget to, uh, you know, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Hit that, uh, Subscribe button if you haven't. Hit that notification bell as well. That way every time I post a video, you get notified. And thanks for the support. I'm going to be out here on these creeks trying to... I'm looking, actually looking for some hybrids, really. So we'll see if we can get into those. So Thanks again, and we'll catch you on the next one. Y'all take it easy. Good morning, everyone. It has been a long time since I've been... Walking a creek bank with the rods in my hands. Haven't been fishing in over a month, but got time today. Cold front came through yesterday. A pretty bad one. It's freezing cold right now, but it's not gonna stop me. This fish still gotta eat. Just might have to adjust a little bit, but we're gonna give it a shot. So I'm gonna get down to the creek, see what the water looks like go from there you guys so I got a uh, slip cork set up and a road runner set up on four pound line just in case depending on what we stumble across so let's see what we can find and the water water looks really good it's always got that that color to it like that when it's really good so hopefully that's a good sign so let's get over here to the spot i want to start at and go from there well the first spot was no good so going over here Got a lot more real estate right here to cover. I gotta get back into creaking shape, y'all. I'm so out of shape. Okay. Let's go dip around over here real quick. We'll spend a little time right here.
There's one. Sweet. First one of the year. First one of the day. Awesome. Yes. Skunk is gone. A little Bobby Garland. What a pretty, pretty white bass. Thank you, bud. Let him go. What a pretty fish. These fish are so fun. I don't really care to eat them, but they're really fun to catch. Sweet. Okay. So there are a few in here. Fish was right in the current, too. Might be the only one we catch, but that's the first one of the year. That's another one. Oh. Okay, we might have stumbled into them here. Such a fun fish on this four pound line. It's another keeper too. Pretty fish. Awesome. So. I'm already putting the pieces of the puzzle together. Thanks, man. So this little area has got pretty quick current and there's two fish. These fish are right in this current. And if that's the case, I got a fish current. So. And that current's running that bank over there a little harder. So I think they're kind of gonna be halfway or all the way over here. It's one thing I always say, if you're not catching sand bass, then you're just not around them because these dudes are not shy. Just love creek fishing like this in the spring. Don't get me wrong, I love fishing out of a boat and kayak, but this right here is where, what I really, really enjoy. Another one. So fun. Not very big, but he's mean. And this right here is why we call them sand bass in Texas. These fish love sand to spawn in like this and gravel up in the creeks. Again, that Bobby Garland. It's probably legal, but I don't keep any of these guys. So I'm just glad to catch a few fish and get out. Oh, look at that one jump out of the water like a salmon. <laughs> oh, I'm having such a good time, you guys. I know I'm not super like jumping up and down or anything, but I'm having a blast. It's been a really difficult month for me. I'll elaborate on that later, but. I really needed uh, some crappie for the in-laws, but um, can't find those and they prefer crappie over sand bass, which I can't blame them on. That's a nice one there, check that one out. What a pretty fish. Beautiful. Thanks, man. See him swim off that way. 
There they go. Ooh, this got bit for sure right there. For sure got bit. Didn't come back for it. That's happened twice. Oh, there he did. Uh-oh, he's trying to get in that tree right there. Is he a good one? Oh yeah, not bad. Not bad. They're all good size ones. Cannot complain with the quality. Every one of these has been a keeper, so. I knew I got bit there. All right, y'all, I'm walking to the next spot. Oh, there's just something about being out here just so relaxing, so peaceful, quiet. Just kind of get away from all the stress and everything like that. <sighs> So I'm just super, super glad to be out catching a few fish. So really hope you all enjoy. Let's get down to this other spot and see if we can catch a few more. Look at the size of this cottonwood. I don't know how much this is going to do this justice, but this is a giant cottonwood. As I was saying, you guys, this little spot right here has got, got a lot of current. Um, so far, that definitely seems to be the ticket. So. You just got to really pay attention to those keys like that and key in on it. And if that holds true, there should be some sandies in here. So let's see. Huh. That's interesting. There's the one I was about to say. My goodness. That one's swimming right at me. Look at that bait spray right there. He came right over here to me. I was surprised it took that many casts. Oh, and he got it too. That jig is gone. Those are healthy fish. Thanks, man. Okay. I was about to say, something's off. There he is. See the baits brand? That's so cool. What are those ghost minnows? That is so cool. This is number seven right here. All keepers too. No giant fish, but keepers, you know. Probably right at 10. He might be a little short actually. No, I think he's 10. They're decept they're, uh, deceptive, you know. I don't really keep them, so. But I think he's 10. Right at it. Ain't no monster, but. Stringer fish, if you were interested in them. I think I'm going the wrong direction. I think I need to go back that way. There's some here still. I was gonna say, you guys, too. Um, so I'm gonna be offering uh, white bass and crappie guided trips in the boat. Um, so if you're interested, um, I'll leave that link down below. Um, after about, in about two weeks, I'll have plenty of availability. Fishing should be really, really good. And uh, all my information will be down below if you're interested. We can do white bass only crappie only or we can do kind of a combo trip whatever you like it's a good one that might be biggest one of the day yeah that is the biggest one of the day
I can get one more fish out of this jig. What a pretty, pretty white bass. Love, love catching these things. There we go. Well, you guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. White bass are up, y'all. It's not super, super good, but if you got time, you can definitely go out and catch quite a few and some good sized ones too mixed in. So, that being said, White Bass Run 2023 has begun. So, hopefully, get a lot more of these videos out in the near future. And yeah, I'm just thankful to be out catch a few fish got to get back in shape <laughs> but um, yeah like I said everything I used um, you can get through sportsman's outfitters um, helps me out if you purchase through there get ten dollars off order 50 with my promo code I'll leave that down below so really appreciate that and thanks everyone for the support I think it's gonna be a great year got big plans and i can't wait so y'all take it easy Good morning everyone well afternoon it's afternoon today actually well we're gonna go try for the sand bass in the creek got my little um Small little crappie jig on there, solid white, and uh, we're gonna go see what we can find. Weather hasn't been good. We got a little rain yesterday. Um, got a little rain, and I think there's some some fish in here. So we're gonna we're gonna look around. Just made it to the to the creek. Water looks pretty good. Not too muddy. Not too clean perfect so let's see what we can find y'all stay tuned check this how this looks in the water all right i can probably get away with something a little less bright we'll try this though for a little bit I don't think so. I think I just got excited. There is one. There's a fish. It's a nice sandy. Here you go, Sandy. There you go, sand bass. Pretty fish. Male. Just on this little bitty uh, 
Lunker City finesse shad. Solid white because this water is a little off color, but it's a nice fish. That fish would keep. I'll take them over here and try and be a little discreet. I don't want to flop them in from way up here. And another thing I did, I've been fishing for a little while, but I didn't have the camera on, but I switched to the 16th ounce, which kind of just floats. That's another one. These things fight so hard. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Not a good fish. I was trying to see. I think I got sand in this reel. I was listening to it and dump. <laughs> it's another nice fish. Another male probably. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice fish. The sandies are running. I was listening, I think I got sand in this reel, and I was trying to listen to it, and thump. <laughs> but I was saying, I went to the 16th ounce, which I can already tell was the move. I need a... That way it just floats and is more finessey and doesn't move as quick, so... I think with this water, this water's got to be pretty cold. So I think that would, would help that. Two baited in kind of the same place. Like right out here. Another one. Good fish. fighters and they are all swallowing it another thing too I wanted to say this there's a cold front came through last night pretty good one it rained um, it's starting to clear now but this morning it was cloudy I actually tried a different creek and didn't do any good the water was really muddy um, another good fish tore my little jig up but uh yeah don't let cold front stop you people always i hear a lot of people say well the cold front made them not bite you have to just finesse them like i'm doing here 16th ounce jig it's painful to fish but you know it's painfully slow to fish it but it works i'm using these right here i love these right here for sand bass in the spring they will tear them up and on this one i'm just tearing like like a half an inch almost off the front just because I think a little smaller profile would, would get bit a little better so don't ever let someone say cold front made them not bite because supposedly today would be a day they're not supposed to bite so so don't forget that And I'm just, you know, just dragging this. Letting it go to the bottom, picking it up. Letting it go to the bottom, picking it up. And a lot of them will hit it on the fall. I forgot how much these things pull. These things about pull you in the water. Oh, I just got bit again. No. Don't ask me how I did this, but I did it. <laughs> yeah, 
I just got bit. Using my nine foot crappie rod. Man, these, I love having a fish, you know, fight. These are good fish though, but I love having them fight on this long crappie rod. Other one. That one just sat on it. That one's crazy. <laughs> A little smaller one. That one just sat on it. Went to pick up and was swimming off with it. Another beautiful male. Pretty fish. I love these things. I'm not keeping any. I don't ever. I don't really ever care to keep them. Crappie are too good and. I'd rather have them from have crappie myself, but I love catching them. Yeah, that one just sat on it. I went to pick it up. There was weight. get a little further over there I would go down here but it's kind of muddy I don't want to slide in or get sand all over the place mm, might have been a bite it's hard to tell This 16th ounce was key. I was fishing that 8th eight, ounce for a while, but I just feel like it was, just, I had to move it too quick to keep it up off the bottom, so this is a lot better. Another one. Might be a little female, maybe. Might be a little female. No, it's a male. Just fat. Ooh, thought I hit him on that thing. There's one. It's up in the current. A little smaller. All right, keeper. Keeper sized fish. Another keeper fish, male. Guy walked by and just said they're not biting. So, it just goes to show just because like, people say they're not biting doesn't mean you can't catch them. Ah, fish, sorry. I know you're ready to go back in there. It's one of the joys of creek fishing from the bank. Look at these thorns on this thing. I mean, it is covered. There's one. Good 
good stuff. Good fish. Good fish keeper. All males. I bit it way over here. I think it bit it on the as soon as it hit the water, cause I didn't feel it hit the I didn't feel it hit the bottom. down here a little bit without falling in. I was gonna say that fish acted like there was another one there. There we go. A little smaller male but fish nonetheless. Beautiful. Yeah, I think I've found about the point that they're they're at. So anywhere around here, upstream, downstream, should be pretty good. That one hit it hard. I mean. There's one. A good sized fish. Bulldog and fish too. It's so wild that thing. That fish did not check the air pressure. Fish should know better. It's not supposed to bite today. There's one. Another nice fish. Another nice one. That little jig. Pretty fish. Good fish. Good fish. Pretty fish. There's one. There's one. A little male. Scrappy. Pretty fish on that little jig. Yeah, male. Pretty. That one.
There's one. Littlest one I think I've caught all day. Still a keeper. Yeah, he's still keep. Pretty. So glad I found some some whites. Crappie have been really, really tough. All right, y'all. I want to do this uh, outro before the camera dies. It's about to die. Um, well, we found some some fish in the creeks today, sand bass, or white bass, however you call them. They're definitely not not in uh, full strength by any means. I think I had like 15 today, mostly males. It's just starting, and several of them, several of them were milting too, so that's a good sign. No females. But it's just a start. So if you if you got a creek next to your house or close or you know of one, you need to go check it because there's fish in it. Um, and I'm just using uh, my crappie setup. High-vis green line and fish don't care. And I had to use a 16th ounce for the most part. Um, that right there is what did the most damage. 16th ounce uh, pink jig head with a uh, finesse shad, Lunker City. This is more of like a salt and pepper. I did good on white too, but I'll show you guys. These right here, those work good. And I was just pitching it, you know, up upstream and just letting it float, float back and bounce it back, pop it left and right. And uh, they bit it. So I hope you enjoy. There's going to be a lot more sand bass and crappie videos coming out. Uh, once this weather gets right, this I mean the weather still isn't right, but there's some uh, some some areas that they come in sooner than others, so just start checking if you haven't. Um, don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you get notified every time I post a video, and uh, we'll see what we can get into. It's about to get good, so y'all stay tuned. Y'all have a good one.